here to file the complaint, and we'll go ahead and arrest him. This Spencer fella, is he a minority of any kind? No. Oh. oh well, you can't win them all. He's poor and fat. Does that count? Better than nothing, I guess. Dr. Forrest, dial 118, please. Dr. Forrest, please dial 118. The x-rays validate what was my cursory opinion, Mr. Spencer, in that the physical signs all substantiate my original contention that you were the victim of another assault upon your pulmonary system, specifically your heart. One more like that and you may be leaving this mortal coil. Any questions? Why don't you speak English, you fucking tool? You're a fat, drunk bastard, and if you don't quit drinking, smoking, and eating so much, you are going to get more bloated and diseased until you die. Is that plain enough English for you, simpleton? Jeez, he told you. What the hell were you doing running around anyway? I was stealing the Benson's newspaper. What for? I wanted to look at the one ad. Government cutting off my welfare. Son of bitches is making me get a job. You ain't got no job skills, idiot. Shut up and give me a smoke. I smoked my last one coming up on the elevator. Give me a smoke, boy. Hey, boy. Give me a smoke! Jesus, eat. Run down to the store and get Daddy a pack. You don't talk much, eh? Well, we got some time to kill before Broken Head gets back. You want to tear off a quick one? As long as you don't mind me closing my eyes and pretending you're someone else. Yeah, like I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> you having a job! Oh, that's a good one! Hurry up and help me get this liver back in the cooler before someone sees it. Normally, Kevin wasn't much for helping out other people, but this was one of the few opportunities he figured he'd ever have to touch someone's insides without committing a felony. Hey, so son of a bitch, rats! Oh, well, I'll just go down to the morgue and get another one. Kevin only knew a little bit about organ transplant surgery, but he was pretty sure that just taking any old liver from the morgue wasn't going to work. Of course it ain't gonna work, but the doctors who sent it are gonna blame the doctors who put it in for not knowing their ass from a hole in the ground. And the doctors who put it in are gonna blame the doctors who sent it for not knowing shit from Shinola. I walk away clean. She's the perfect woman, lunatic. I think you should ask her to marry you. You got a lot to offer a woman, Kevin. 
Kevin thought his imaginary friend Alan made a lot of sense, so he got down on one knee and proposed. <laughs> Go screw yourself, Romeo. <laughs> Jesus, you're gullible. Light a cigarette, moron. Alan needs nicotine. Since the whole marriage thing didn't look like it was going to pan out, Kevin figured he'd see if she'd just sneak him into the morgue instead. Interested in science, are ya? Ha, ah, what the hell. It's no skin off my back. Ah, I can't say the same for that guy that was in a motorcycle accident, though. <laughs> Fear! Gone! Yeah! 20 years on the force, and that's the worst thing I've ever seen. You're under arrest for assault. Hey, I wasn't on. You don't want any trouble, lady. I don't give a shit who, but somebody's gonna finish me off. I'm gonna tear this place apart. Hit the lights, will ya? You got it, man. Ah! ah, it's just some kid. What the hell are you doing, you little freak? Kevin hadn't figured on getting caught. Fortunately, his years of drifting in and out of mental institutions and juvenile detention centers had taught him that if you do get caught doing something, you should just remain stone-faced and calm and stare people down without blinking. If you stare at people long enough, they get pretty scared. Especially if you have a history of being violent and insane and aren't thinking straight from all the cough syrup and paint, which for Kevin was pretty much any day of the week. Better. My name is Mr. White. I run this hospital now. If you cooperate and do what you are told, you will all be released unharmed. If you decide not to cooperate or try to play hero, this will happen to you. Son of a bitch! Any questions? Oh, Mr. Bluecoat. Do you only shoot people in the knees? Yes, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Remain calm, and this will all be over soon enough. You son of a bitches get all the breaks. Uh-oh. Try the emergency phone. Look out! That's nothing. <laughs> Wait till I reload. All units. All units. Hang on a minute. All units, we have a 22-8 in progress at the City View Hospital. I repeat, a 22-8 in progress at the City View Hospital. What's a 22-8? Beats me. That's an armed takeover and hostage situation with more than one assailant. I'd done four years for that back in the 70s. I don't like the sounds of that. I'll say. Come on, let's pop the hatch. We'll take the ladder up to the roof. The SWAT team will have a chopper up there. Hey, what about me? What about you? Ain't no way my fat gut's gonna fit through that door. Well then, I guess you're shit out of luck, you fat drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Help, I'm trapped in the elevator. And I'm out of smoke. Speaking of smoke, Kevin thought he was in heaven. It was only the property room where all the personal belongings from the dead people was stored. But if there was a heaven, Kevin sure hoped it was just like this. Christ, 
You again. You scared the sweet holy hell out of me, you little bastard. Good. You got smokes. Some of our souls are shooting the place up and taking hostages. I'm holding up until they're done. Screw the wounded, that's my motto. Yeah, thumbs up to you too, you spooky little bastard. Yeah, well, what if we don't? Just give me the Did you just shoot a guy and throw him out the window? Yes. He means business, boys. Okay. We'll play by your rules for now. What do you want? Five million dollars in untraceable bills, a helicopter, and enough fuel to get me to a country without an extradition treaty. What? Just a minute. And some whores. Give me a couple of hours. Son of a bitch. Which one of you insubordinate bastards took the last shell? speaking. Get that body out of here, and nobody saw nothing! I just talked to the brass upstairs. They're not going to release the money. Damn it! Don't they know this is a hospital, not some run-down ghetto highways full of minorities? We can't just go in there shooting. Didn't you get the memo? It don't matter who's inside. We're not allowed to open fire without provocation. Jesus Christ, they're handcuffing us! How the hell are we supposed to do our job? So now what? I don't know. I'm all out of ideas. I could try talking him out. Yeah, sure. I don't care. Sounds good. Do whatever the hell you want. I'll be in my car. What you're doing, Grandpa? Hey! Show some respect, rookie. That man was giving pistol whippings to African Canadians back when they were still called Negroes. Jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing. You're goddamn right you're sorry. Now go get a 40 ounce of whiskey, some whores, and a phone that works. It's gonna be a long night. Whores? I thought we weren't gonna negotiate with these guys. The, uh, the whores are for me. I'm under a lot of stress. Now get going. Kevin was having a lot of fun hiding out with the nurse. He was also in love with her because she was pretty and because she swore a lot and had a key to the drug cabinet. Don't you? It means she ain't never gonna give an itinerant little freak like you the time of day. So ask the wedding band right now. Now, since she ain't gonna marry you, it don't matter none what you think of you or if she has a job. So how's about taking her drug key so you and me can get some head tender? The key, boy! The key! Take the goddamn key, you 
Nothing. Tell you what, I get three shots, double or nothing for getting it in, and an extra 50 bucks if I get it through the hole and hit him in the head. Deal? Deal. Is someone there? I need a doctor. That's smoke. Ow! Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, one nothing. This time, I got 50 bucks says I can split the fat bastard's head open with this can of drain cleaner. I'm in. Unit 429. Unit 429, report back. Shh. This is Unit 429. Over. Where the hell are you guys? I've been trying to reach you for over an hour. Uh, we're, uh, um, <laughs> well... We're still jammed up in the elevator shaft. What floor are you trapped on? We'll send some guys in to help you out. Now, nah, nah, don't worry about it, Chief. We're making good progress. Uh, we'll be out in no time. Five, ten minutes, tops. We'll, um, we'll call and let you know as soon as we're free. See that you do. We could use every free hand that we've got. Yeah, we'll get right on to that, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my head! <laughs> <laughs> nice shot! <laughs> well, maybe we should get going. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? Oh, yeah. That'll teach you to stay the hell out of my business, stupid goddamn heart. God, you spared me and I ain't gonna forget it. From now on, I promise, though. Hey, what you got there, boy? I know you got drugs and smoke, you son of a bitch. You don't have more time. Either I get what I ask for in the next five minutes, or this place is gonna look like a Chinese embassy after the Americans have hit town. <laughs> Stupid game! <laughs> hey! Hey! What's doing, Chief? Hold your goddamn fire, you bunch of useless idiots! And you, I don't see the whores yet. And until I do, I don't want to see you standing around playing no video games. Now about this whole hostage thing, anyone got any ideas? How's about we get into position uh, to look good for the news cameras and uh, just kind of let things play out to see what happens? You're fast-tracking your way to detective, son. Now, who's got to go? Daddy just wants to talk, boy. You can keep the drugs and smoke. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Son of a bitch. Victory is mine. Give Daddy the drugs and smoke, boy. We'll walk out of here all right. Hey, piss tank! Oh, Jesus! Hey, it's time to finish what you started, you useless fat bastard! Oh, Christ, where's Charlie Punt when you need him? Let's go, boy! You don't want to get in her way when she's in a mood. Big 
boy in here? Who the hell are you? Quiet, she'll hear you. Shut up, you fat slob. I don't take orders from you, mister. I'm through with the foreplay, fatty. Mama needs some loving. Shoot me, dear God, shoot me. What the hell's going on? All right, I got me a buffet. Who's voice? And that's why this reporter doesn't trust the Dutch, and never will. And finally, on the lighter side of today's news, police and city officials are crediting a local woman's libido with ending an armed standoff between police and a group of terrorists at a local hospital. We go live to the scene with Ramona de la Hoya Fuente Giovanni, our pretty ethnic woman in the field. That's right, Steve, a libido. And police are calling it a miracle. I'm here with the hero of the hour, Anastasia Spencer, her husband, Percy, and their son, Kevin, whom I'm sure you will all recognize from our weekly Crime Stoppers videos. Well, let's get right to the point. Did you ever in your wildest dreams think your vagina would thwart an international incident and save so many lives? Get spelling on the phone, I smell an Emmy. Help me! Help! I'm trapped in the elevator! And I'm out of smoke! <laughs>